Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? This is Fitch, your personal tour guide. What is happening? Hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to hop on the channel here real quick because something hit my inbox and I had a brother all stirred up. You know, I thought my life was going in a certain direction and something just kind of throws in a monkey wrench in it. And so now I got to readjust, reframe, replan. And so I uh, wanted to talk about that for a little bit because I got an email from, uh, Warren Hills uh, Jazz Festival from Music Getaways today that makes uh, me and my wife are probably going to have to make some adjustments to our plans this year. So, of course, we are locked in for Cabo. So we're going to the Cabo um, Jazz Festival. Can't wait uh, to get there. So we've been doing a lot of uh, research and reviews and everybody just really raves about uh, the resort and how, how nice it is. So. Uh, looking forward to that because we almost changed it, you know, to my wife. No, no, let's not. You know, we need to take this <laughs> vacation. So let's just keep this one on the books. And so what we have decided where we probably weren't going to the Cancun Jazz Festival at the new location, Moon Palace. I kind of talked about that a few months ago. And uh, I was really excited actually about going to the new resort, but it was really because um, of the resort itself, a new place, wanted to check the scene out and see what that was like. But then I got something in my inbox that made me really, really want to go, you know. So we were thinking about doing something else at the end of the, part, end of the year. Uh, we got some travel plans already for the spring so far in the, the late uh, fall, early winter. We normally like to take a little vacation, maybe a cruise or something. But then I got this in my inbox because there has been a lineup change to the Warren Hills Cancun Jazz Festival, and that is Trombone Shorty. And so as soon as this came in my inbox, I sent my wife an email because she was in a meeting at work. And I said, you sure you don't want to go to the Cancun Jazz Festival? Because we are big fans of Trombone Shorty. I had the privilege of seeing him live at the Clearwater Jazz Festival uh, here in Florida. And uh, he puts on a fantastic show. If you've never seen Trombone, of course, my family's from Louisiana. So that Louisiana style of jazz, that New Orleans style of jazz just... Uh, suits me just perfectly. I love his sound, his band. They're all great. He puts on a fantastic show. Uh, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below in the chat. Uh, if you've seen Trombone Shorty uh, live in concert and what you thought about his performance, I think it's incredible. And so me and my wife have been wondering, you know, she's never seen him live and she had been wondering uh, you know, where he would be. Sometimes we would check. Of course, COVID hit, which kind of just derailed a lot of things. You know, so we were always checking to see where he was going to be anywhere in our general vicinity uh, in the southeast. But uh, so this is probably going to change what we decide to do. And uh, we've already been talking about going to the Cancun Jazz Festival. And so uh, I think she's down with it. And so we may just have to do her cruise some other time or take maybe a short one at some other point in time. But uh, exciting news. Uh, man, I think we're going to have, we can't miss this, y'all. We can't miss it. Y'all help me out. Help me talk her into it. So I, I don't think it's going to take much effort, but I do not think I want to miss Trombone Shorty in Cancun at the Moon Palace uh, this no. November. Drop me a line. Let me know. Are you going to the Cancun Jazz Festival? Hit me up down below and let me know what your plans are. Uh, the lineup is shaping up nicely. They also have uh, Kenny G. Legend, right? Been around for such a long time. One of my all-time favorites as well as Boney James. So, Boney James and Trombone Shorty there in the Moon Palace of Cancun Jazz Festival. Look, how can you not want to go? If you're a jazz fan, you will get all kinds of great music. Then we have Gerald Albright. I've been listening to him for years. And Peebo Bryson, uh, Rick Braun, and Richard Elliott, and you no know, whoever else. I mean, this is enough right here. I mean, I don't know who else they're going to add for the show, but this is enough right here to want me to go ahead and go ahead and book this trip so 
Just want to come on and talk about that. Really excited about that. Uh, so uh, just wanted to see what you guys think. I mean, this lineup looks awesome, like it's going to be power-packed. Uh, just like it's going to be a great time. Been watching several videos on tours of the Moon Palace Resort. It looks beautiful. They've got you no know, twice the restaurants they had in the uh, previous location there at the Hard Rock Riviera Maya. A much bigger resort. So hopefully some of the complaints that a lot of you guys shared in terms of wait times and restaurant availability and uh, all of that frustration will no longer exist in the moon plan. But we, no, we won't know till you get there. So we're, we're hoping things will flow a whole lot better for everybody who was attending, but it looks awesome. So uh, that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to hop on real quick. So let me know what you think. Are you going to the Cancun Jazz Festival? And if you're going to Cabo, let me know. Maybe we'll uh, meet up there and get a chance to meet some of you all face to face. Well, this is Fitz, your personal tour guide, signing off. Just wanted to kind of give you that quick snippet. I owe you guys another video uh, or two about our cruise experience we took back in December with the uh, MSC Maravilla, which was a great experience. We had a good time. But I'll let you guys what that was like here in a short, in a second. Uh, cruise industry is going through changes, y'all. Good Lord. Anyway, this is Fitz. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you whenever I do another video. Peace.